how we earned 36% interest just by paying back our rent. My name is Darius. And I'm Carne. And we're the founders of Wealth Nation. This channel is dedicated to showing you how to own your own lifestyle through a concept called infinite banking. Mm -hmm. We answer questions and show you different techniques on how to grow and manage your banking system. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every single time we come out with brand new videos just like this one. So before we get into the nitty gritty as far as the numbers are concerned, I just want to share with you a quick story on how we even got to this point. Because when Darius and I first started Infinite Banking, our sole purpose of doing this was just to get out of debt. And as we became more aware of our spending, studying Nelson Nash more, and just really being diligent to the three rules, we a light bulb clicked. And it was just like, oh my gosh, we can make money off of every single transaction that we make. It doesn't just have to be about debt and it doesn't just have to be about our business. So when we realized that, Darius and I became super aware of our spending and our expenses. So every single dollar that was leaving us, we were trying to figure out how to get it back <laughs> in a boomerang effect. And, um, but anyways, w with that money, um, for those of you who know Darius, he is a genius when it comes to numbers. And so, I wouldn't say yes, genius. Yes, <laughs> he is. He's very good with it. And so we just said, uh, or he said, how can we make ourselves the most expensive bill? And for those of you who have seen some of our videos before, uh, that's something that we talk about. If you're the one who's going out making all the money, everyone else is getting paid but you. So make yourself a bill, pay yourself money. And so we decided we wanted to be the most expensive expense in our budget and how could we do that? Um, so Darius is gonna flip on his computer screen and show you exactly how he made that happen. Yes, for our analytical and visual people, what I wanna do is show you, share my screen with you so you can see exactly what it looks like to pay yourself your rent every single month. So it all started with our very first policy. Our first policy was a $10,000 policy designed for maximum cash value growth. So in the very first year, $5,466 was available immediately uh, because we did an annual premium. So we asked ourselves, ourselves at this point, what do we want to get accomplished with this insurance policy? How do we want to utilize infinite banking to put us in a better position financially? And that for us was paying down our credit card debt. Carmen and I had um, a variety of different credit cards with uh, different amounts and we wanted to utilize uh, the infinite banking process to pay it off. So this is what we did with our very first um, premium. We got the loan, it was direct deposited into our personal bank account, first off. And then we took that money and we paid off our Chase Southwest BBNT, Wells Fargo, and Amazon cards. And the minimum payments for those cards were $50, $53, $94, and $105, respectively. These minimum payments include the interest also. So what we're going to use infinite banking for is to recapture the principal and interest back to ourselves. So when we add up the minimum payments, they... Uh, sum up to $302 a month that we were paying to these credit card companies. Now we're going to redirect those funds back to our segregated account, which is just a separate bank account. We don't want to uh, get our payments back to ourselves and our everyday uh, expenses mixed together. So we created a separate bank account with a different bank, which is called a segregated account. So we now have $302 a month going into our segregated account. As a result of this, we became hyper aware of our spending. Like we, we said earlier, when you become aware of your spending, you start to see exactly where your money is going um, that may not necessarily be the best thing for you. You see where your money is going towards your wants instead of your needs. And we recognize that. So we started putting more money into our segregated account just because we became more aware. Another thing that happened was we realized that we had additional funds available. So we decided to get a second policy for myself. There was a difference though. We decided to add 
an additional PUA or additional cash value of $4,000. Now, we were able to do this because of my age and my health. I was uh, healthy, working out every day, so I was uh, at a, a, a good rating for me to be able to um, add additional funds to my policy. And what this is called is uh, getting up to your a MEC limit or modified endowment contract. Now, if you don't know what a modified endowment contract, you should uh, refer to another one of our videos so we can uh, carry on with this one. Because I added the additional $4,000 to my policy, I had cash value available immediately of $9,136. Now, the interesting thing is I still have a $10,000 a policy premium for the next uh, four years. We started to ask ourselves, what will we do with this $9,000? Well, what is the biggest expense that we have? How can we make paying ourselves our biggest expense? Because that segregated account is us paying ourselves. That's money going back to us. How can we make ourselves the biggest expense? And we did this by taking a look at our rent. We decided to take a look at different opportunities and see what we're able to negotiate because of um, the fact that we have cash available. So what we were able to negotiate with the new lease was an 11 month lease for fourteen hundred dollars. Now, we asked the leasing office if we were able to pay cash, what kind of a discount will we be able to get? How can we leverage our cash? They said, if you pay in full, we'll give you $2,500 in credit. So we said, okay. And instead of owing $15,400 to the leasing office, in turn, we now owe only $12,900. So now we have to go about uh, using infinite banking to start to recapture uh, this principle and credit back to ourselves. So in my policy, I know that I had $9,136. Now in our segregated account, we were recapturing the $302 from our credit cards every single month, plus additional funds that I was adding to it. Because again, when you become aware of your spending, you start to um, change a few things in your life. So we had um, over $5,000 available in our segregated account. So we took $3,764 from our segregated account and transferred it to our personal bank account, which we're going to be making the check from. So now that we have a total of $12,900 available in our bank account, we write a check to the leasing office for our rent in full for the next 11 months. Now that the rent is paid off, we technically don't have any obligation to them. The only thing we have to do is recapture the money back to ourselves, principal and interest. So our monthly payment was $1,400. If we wanted to make it less than that, we could have because we had room to do so. We, we were able to make the decision. So Carmen and I, we, we stuck with what we would have paid to them anyway and just started paying that back to ourselves in our segregated account. So for the next 11 months, we paid $1,400 into our segregated account for a total of $15,400 that we had available in our segregated account just from paying our rent. Now, there was additional funds in there because, remember, we were still paying the $302 from our credit card into our segregated account. We just used some of those funds to pay our rent. So when it's all said and done, using this calculator, we see that we wrote a check to the leasing office for $12,900, but we maintain a payment back to our segregated account for $1,400 a month for an 11 month period. This is a total of a 36.9% rate of return because even though we got a $2,500 credit, what do people typically do with credit? They just don't pay their rent. 
we decided to continue to pay our rent. We just paid it back to ourselves. So that cash is now available inside our checking account. Now, this is what we're doing outside of our insurance policy. This is infinite banking. Infinite banking is the process of using the cash value from your insurance policy to do stuff that you were going to do anyway. We were going to uh, pay $1,400 a month anyway on our rent. We just redirected exactly where we were going to uh, put those funds. And now we have made 36.9% interest just by paying our rent. So when it comes to using the concept of infinite banking, again, your options are infinite. This is just one thing that we decided to do with the money that was sitting inside our segregated account. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we get questions from our clients and saying, what do I do with the money in my segregated account? Here's an option. <laughs> now, again, we say this on almost every video that every situation is different. Every per person is different. This is what we decided to do. Mm -hmm. Now, I challenge you, if you are a client or you're interested in doing infinite banking, think of what you would do in this situation if you had the money sitting. Yeah. So we'll wrap this video up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also like this video. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. Remember to own your own lifestyle, even your rent. <laughs> or someone else will. <laughs>